right, talking Florida football with David Waters from Gators Breakdown. And uh, what a messy situation uh, that caused the suspension of nine players. Jordan Scarlett would be the headliner there. We don't need to get into those issues. Uh, if you, if you want to backtrack and <laughs> check it out, just go to uh, any of the audio platforms that Gators Breakdown's on, as well as YouTube, and uh, check out those episodes going back uh, to last season. But uh, Jordan Scarlett in particular is a back that gained 900 yards two years ago, scored five or six touchdowns. Uh, he's back in the fold. Uh, can you set us up at running back and, and what his contributions expect to be? Yeah, Florida's really deep at running back, Mark. Uh, but, you know, led by Jordan Scarlett, who had the, the second half of the 2016 season. Everybody remembers that LSU game where Florida went to Baton Rouge and uh, and won a game with, to capture the SEC East. And a lot of that was to do to, to Jordan Scarlett and his uh, tough running and you know I, I like to see what Jordan Scarlett could do when he's not facing defenses that are stacking the box time and time again uh, so maybe in this Dan Mullen offense that is built uh, on a power run game uh, hopefully you know can also have a passing threat as well so the box doesn't get as loaded as what Jordan Scarlett has seen in the past I think he's a talented enough back to to really uh, take advantage of a system like this but you know, he's going to have his work cut out for him you know he, he I think he'll have some fresh legs because you still have Malik Davis, who hopefully will be healthy and coming back in the fall. He's not taking part uh, in the spring after an injury he suffered against Georgia last year. But you still got like Michael P. Ryan, Darius Lemons. You have highly touted freshman Damian Pierce and Iverson Clement. All these guys, besides Malik Davis, are taking part in spring practice, even those two true freshmen. So Florida's deep at running back. We know how Dan Mullen likes to run the ball. Um We'll see if some of these guys get redshirted, but uh, you know, I, it wouldn't surprise me at all is if Florida somehow you know gets gets enough handoffs for them all. Uh, maybe some of those guys can can uh, you know motion out of the backfield into the receiver role uh, and catch a pass out wide. Maybe Iverson Clement can fit in that role. But I really like true freshman Damian Pierce, who's one of my favorite recruits from this past re recruiting cycle. He's going through it. He's got the size. Uh, he's got the speed. I think uh, he, him and Darius Lemons are, are two guys that you know we haven't talked a lot about. Uh, but I think when the spring game rolls around and those guys get a lot of carries, just because you, know, you want to see what these young guys and these backups can do, those are two guys to really look out for.